Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester. We are in chapter one talking about introduction to AI and as a part of today's tutorial we'll be looking forward to work on in 1.7 that is AI as a surface which can also be called as AI as SAS. In order to get started, number one thing we are talking about a quick outline of what exactly AI as a service can be and uh, here we are just referring to different uh, possibilities of using AI as a service. Now AI components such as ML models which are the base architecture and the fundamentals and heart of the AI based systems can be created within an organization, downloaded from a third party or used as a service on the web. That means any organizations can look forward to create any kind of services which are possible to be embedded within a given particular system and the team can look forward or any other organization can look forward to use your services as a platform again. Now a hybrid approach is also possible in which some of the AI functionality is provided from within the system and some is provided as a service too. Now when ML is used as a service, access is provided to an ML model over a web and support can also be provided for data preparation and storage whereas model training, evaluation, tuning, testing and deployment. That means the organization serving you with these kind of services can take care of all your needs of you know, building that particular platform into your customized needs. And of course, uh, just like any other SaaS platforms where we look forward to understand your requirement, why would you like to go with our uh, more of like the services we will look forward to understand your custom expectations and being a vendor being a third party provider to that service we'll look forward to embed and support you with all the introductions all the training all the uh, evaluations tuning as per the expectation and several other things will be their responsibility to build that up and you can relate this to any other platform like aws or salesforce or whatnot the organizations look forward to do the complete responsibility to build that up application or as a solution at any point of time. Now the third party providers including AWS Microsoft offer such AI services such as facial and specific recognition. Now today if you're using uh, any kind of cell phone be it about iPhone or Androids you are talking about the face unlock and the speech recognition which are voice commands and of course these providers are AWS and Microsoft which are having these uh, services being built and provided to so many cell phone companies that they can make use of it. This allows individuals and organizations to implement AI using the cloud-based services even when they have insufficient resources and expertise to build their own AI service. And this would certainly help a lot of new organizations stepping into building up their product but they need a small feature which probably they don't have competency with or probably they don't have the right resource available and hiring them could be expensive to build on their own. And so you can look forward obviously to the services or the organization who have better capability and solutions already built for it and just look forward to adapt it and embed it within your application. Now in addition, ML models provide as part of third party service are likely to have been trained on a larger, more diverse training data set than is readily available to many stakeholders. Now such as those who have recently moved into AI market too. The point is you look forward to do something of your own, then it would still be limited to what you may think about. But being a service provider, uh, the other team would have really taken care of different clients, different expectations, and the model would have been trained with more larger scale of data and more diverse information, which would be much more proficient for you to do the same job. So in that context, the AI can be also used as a service and these are the quick benefits which you can certainly get into understanding about. Talking about the next one which is contracts for AI as a service. Uh, these AI services are typically provided with similar contracts as of non-AI cloud-based services as a service which is like software as a service, right? The so point is like these are not something very different in terms of their contracts. How any other uh, 
supplier serves you with any kind of other inbuilt products of their company to embed with your product. For example, if I'm talking about PayPal offering their payment gateways to make payment on any e-commerce website, then it's just like that similar way the contracts work here as well. It's just that your product instead of payment gateway, is a, it is an AI service. Now, a contract for AI as of was typically included a service level agreement that defines availability and security commitments such as SLAs typically uh, look forward to cover an uptime for the service up to 99.99% and a response time to fix defect but rarely define ML functional performance script matrices such as accuracy in similar manner. That means point is we look forward to have all the necessary MLAs into the uh, SLAs into the uh, contracts which certainly uh, will give the assurance to the business that hey our services will be up all the time and we'll have a better turnaround time if you got any problems on the way and we are there to have all the you know consistent support provided to you while you're using our services on your platform now ai SaaS is often paid for uh, on a subscription basis and if the contracted availability or response times are not met then the service provider the provider typically provides credit for the future services it's more of like of course there is an sla in place on as far as the slas are met it's good if the sla is not met it could be having a penalty over it and one or the other way the service provider has to compensate to their customers to fulfill the gaps now other than these credits most ai as uh, contracts provide limited liability other than in terms of fees paid meaning that ai system or ai based systems that depend on isas are typically limited to relatively low risk applications where loss of service would not be too damaging. That means it could be related to some of the uh, parameters that where we can have the tolerance and uh, we certainly can talk about uh, those relatively low risk application uh, where risk is not very high. That means we are not talking about humans fatality or death and that's where we can take a kind of like uh, limited liability on the AI SaaS platforms, right? In that context, it re really becomes very important to understand in what kind of applications and platforms we can talk about using your services rather than building our own. Right, finally talking about some of the quick examples of IA AI SaaS, uh, which is like AI as a service. And of course, the following are the best examples as of uh, today. Uh, one is, of course, IBM Watson Assistant. Uh, this is an AI chatbot which is priced according to the number of monthly active users who will be using this. Google Cloud AI and ML products. These provide document-based uh, AI that includes a form of parser and document OCR. Prices are, again, based on the number of pages sent for processing. Amazon CodeGuru. Uh, this provides a review of ML Java code that supplies developers with a recommendation for improving their code quality. Now, prices here are based on uh, the number of lines of source code being analyzed. So, of course, when it comes to source code, of course, the matter will be all about how exactly the number of codes are written and the number of lines would matter here. Talking about Microsoft Azure, Cognitive Search. Now, the provides, this provides AI cloud search. Prices are based on search units. That is defined in terms of the storage and throughput use, where throughput means total number of transactions placed per unit time. So put together, there are a lot of people already providing these services for different purposes, and we have given you a good outline of what could be their prices and how exactly that can be used in one among your applications. The point here put together is, that if in case you don't have the right set of people and resources available, you can look forward to use some of the things which are already built to apply in your product and make it more you know, wonderful to be served to the people in the market today. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.